Hi students, today we are doing some questions. Previously asked questions in the chapter probability. In 2019, the first question is a bag well contains four red and four black holes. Another bag contains two red and six black holes. One of the two bags is selected at the random and a body is drawn from the bag which is going to be red. Find the probability that the body is drawn from the first bag. This question is based on Bayer's figure, isn't it? Bag 1 4 red and 4 black. Back to two red and six black. Two red, six black. Let E one and E two. Let E one and E two be the E one of drawing the bags. Drawing the bags. So probability of E1 is equal to probability of E2 is equal to one by two. There are two bags. Therefore, probability of each bag is one by two. Now let E is equal to E1 of drawing. A red ball, even though drawing a red ball, therefore probability of E given E1 drawing a red ball from the first bag. In first bag, there are four red, so four divided by total number of balls is eight, and uh, P of E given E2. Probability of red ball from the second bag. In the second bag, there are two reds that are divided by eight. Isn't it? These are the probabilities. Now, using Bayer's theorem, using Bayer's theorem, we have P of E1 given E is equal to P of E1 into P of E1 E1 divided by P of E1 into P of E1 E1 plus P of E2 into P of E1 E2 isn't it? P of E1 into here P of E1 is equal to P of E1 is 1 by 2 into E given E1 is 4 by 8. P of E1 is again 1 by 2 into 4 by 8 plus E2 is 1 by 2 into 2 by 8. Here we can eliminate. 2 into 8 on both numerator and denominator. So we get 1 into 4 divided by 1 into 4 plus 1 into 2. So 4 divided by 4 plus 2 is 6. 2 by 3 is the equal probability, isn't it? The next question is a random variable x has the following distribution function x of and p of x are given. Find a. The first question is we know that sum of the probability is 1. So k plus 3k plus 5k plus 7k plus 4k is equal to 1. 
4k, 9k, 16k, 20k is equal to 1. Therefore, k is equal to 1 by 20. Correct. k is equal to 1 by 20. This is the first question. In the second question, we have to find the mean and variance of the random variable. Here, x is same as small x, xi. p of x is same as small p of i. xi is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Corresponding pi, k is 1 by 20. Here, 3 into 1 by 20, 3 by 20. 5 into 1 by 20, 5 by 20. 7 by 20 and uh, last one is 4 by 20. This is xi and the pi. Now we are going to find pi in the xi. pi in the xi 0 into this 0. Here it is 3 by 20, 10 by 20, 5 into 2 10. 4 into 7, 28 by 20. And the last one is 20 divided by 20. Now find xi square. xi square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is uh, then uh, 3 and 4. Here it is 16 by 20. Two square is four, three square nine, and uh, four square is sixteen. Now pi into x i square one by twenty into zero. Pi into x i square that is zero. Three by twenty into one that is three by twenty. Five by twenty into four twenty by twenty. Now seven by twenty into nine sixty three by twenty. And the last one is 4 by 20 into 16, 64 by 20. Now find pi sigma pi xi, adding these 16, 37, 47, 50 by 20. And uh, Sigma pi into xi square. Here it is 150 by 20, isn't it? 64, 125, 127, 147, 150. Here we have mean mu is equal to sigma pi into xi. That is equal to 50 by 20. That is 2.5. Isn't it? Variance is equal to sigma pi in the xi square minus mu square. pi in the xi square is 150 divided by 20 minus 2.5. The whole square. Here 7.5 minus 2.5 the whole square is 6.25. 7.50 minus 6.25. That is 5 to 1.25. This is the variance of x. Isn't it? In 2018, March, the first question is find the probability distribution of the random variable is given by P of x. What is sigma P of x? We know that sum of the probabilities is 1. So the answer is 1. First question, sigma P of x. 
is equal to sigma p i is equal to 1, isn't it? The second question. Here also, some of the probabilities is 1. So, sigma p i is equal to 1, which implies that here 12 plus uh, 23, 33, 42, 50, 62, 62, 66, uh, 66, 72. 72 k is equal to 1, therefore k is equal to 1 by 72, isn't it? Now, first, second question is here, first question is k. A, B, second question is P of X greater than 3. That is, P of X greater than 3 means P of X is equal to 4, 5. P of X is equal to 4 plus P of X is equal to 5. X is equal to 4 is 11K. 11k plus 12k that is 23k that is 23 into 1 by 72 23 by 72 that is p of x greater than k next question c is uh, p of minus 3 less than x less than 4 that is in between minus 3 and plus 4 P of x is equal to minus 2 plus P of x is equal to minus 1 plus P of x is equal to 0 plus P of uh, x is equal to 1 plus P of x is equal to 2 plus P of x is equal to 3 is a probability of minus 3 less than x less than 4. So 4k 9k 16k 16k plus k 24k 24k plus uh, 9 33 43 that is 43 k that is 43 divided by 72 isn't it this is the third question now we have one more question. D. P of x is less than negative 3. P of x is less than negative 3. x less than negative 3 is these two. k plus 2 k. P of x is equal to negative 4 plus p of x is equal to negative 5. That is k plus 2 k is 3 k. That is 3 into 1 by 72, that is 1 by 24. This is the fourth first, isn't it? Next question is in 2014 marks, the first question is A and B are to be even such that P of A is equal to 0.8 and P of B is equal to 0.5. And P of B given A is 0.4, we have to find P of A given B. To find a given b, we need p of a intersection. Here, p of uh, b given a is equal to p of uh, a intersection b divided by p of a. So we have p of uh, a intersection b is equal to p of uh, b given a into p of a p of b given a is 0 0.4 into p of a is 0 0.8 so we get 0 0.8 isn't it now therefore p of a given b is equal to p of a intersection b divided by P of B here P of A intersection B is uh, 0 0.32 0 0.32 into 
divided by P of B is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.64, isn't it? This way we can find P of A given B. Follow this. The next question is find the mean and variance of the number obtained on a law of an unbiased interval. Here, let x be the random variable. Random variable. And uh, possible values of x b possible values of x b 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here x i is same as x that is 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 P A is probability of getting a number 1 is on by 6, 2 is on by 6, 3 is on by 6, etc. So 1 by 6, 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 and 1 by 6. Now find P I into X I. P I into X I is 1 by 6. Here 2 by 6, 3 by 6. 4 by 6, 5 by 6, and uh, 6 by 6. Now find the uh, xi square. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and 36. Isn't it? Now find pi in the xi square. 1 by 6 in the 1. pi in the xi square. 1 by 6 in the 1 is 1 by 6. 1 by 6 into 4 is 4 by 6. 1 by 6 into 9, 9 by 6. Here it is 16 by 6. 25 by 6 and 36 by 6. Now we can find sigma pi in the x i which is known as mean. Also sigma pi in the x i square. Pi into x i square is 21 by 6 and here it is 36 of 61 77 86 of 91 here it is 91 by 6 isn't it now we mean mu is equal to sigma pi into x i that is 21 by 6 variance of is equal to sigma pi x i square minus mu square pi into x i square is 91 by 6 minus uh, 21 by 6 now whole square that is 91 by 6 minus 49 divided by 4 that is 91 into 4 minus 6 into 49 divided by 24 that is uh, 364 minus divided by 24 364 minus 294 70 by 24 that is 35 divided by 20 this is the variance isn't it now if you want to find the standard deviation of x then sd is equal to root of variance and is equal to root of 35 by 10. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Come on, guys. So the answer is 1.71.
I think you can understand what the problems I have done.